Yeah, what's up guys? Techmente here today. Today I want to try a Windows file on this phone, you know. So I've got some application downloaded in this Sandisk flash drive. Uh, I don't want to use the phone to to start downloading apps. So I'm going to connect the flash drive to the um, adapter. I'm going to copy the games I've downloaded. They are 32 bit, no, they are not 32 bit. They are 8 bit games, so they shouldn't cost any problem for the phone. And one thing that I do understand is this game should run 8-bit game successfully. So I'm going to copy this um, executable file. You know, Microsoft um, Windows file is .exe. So I'm going to copy them. I will install it on the phone. If it installed, that means it's running Windows. But if it said no, it cannot install, then that means it's not a Windows operating system. Because that's the last thing I, I want to try on this phone. I just want to see if this is truly Windows, like some people said on my comment, it's not Windows, it's um, Windows S, uh, it's Windows 10X or whatever the guy said on the comment section, say it's a Windows 10X, but let's see, we're going to see, this is the moment of the truth, if this can install exe file, because you know exe file, dot exe file is Microsoft installation um, application um, program, so if it can install dot exe file, then I give up that this is truly running Windows. I believe it will install it. I've not tried it before, so let's install uh, Mario. This is an old game and it's the .exe file. So let's install Mario. You can see this application. So let's install it. It's going to extract it. Then it's going to install. So let's wait. It's still not responding. I don't know why that happened, but hopefully, okay. Now it's responding. Okay. So let's see. Extract. I don't need to extract okay i remember is a winzip file i should have started this but hopefully we are oh right you see micro forever.exe so let's see if it's going to install okay next next um i agree with terms and condition next okay yeah next okay create the destination yeah start installation it's installing so i'm confused 100 that this is running full windows this is not windows 10s or whatever the guy is saying nonsense on the comment section this is running full windows and if this install i'm gonna try this game i'm so curious i want to try a game on this phone you know i can windows 11 handle gaming i do understand that it's not going to handle graphic intense game because if uh, the operating system is struggling you know I have to tell you the truth is struggling but at least you can still get something done you know install mario so let's see i will install a couple of apps probably i'll I, I, I try and install this to express burner i just want to try because this is an ESC file too i just want to see if that can be installed you know so let's see so let's see because i have this application on my computer so i want to see if it can be installed if not then we know it's not 100 windows you see it's installing so these are ESE file you're not downloading this from the store you know this is your the kind of application you're going to install on your main computer you know and look at that it's on the desktop it's installed so i think the next thing to do now uh is to try the uh, mario i'm going to try the mario game i want to see if um the mario game will work because that's a game and it's an old game it's 8-bit graphics which i believe it should not stress this phone to be honest it's 8-bit graphics so what i've done is i've connected my keyboard and let's start the game What is this? I think there's an error. I have to fix this, guys. It's not the phone, it's not the software. I think it's the game. Okay, so I'm gonna fix this now. Because, um,. So, what I can do, I can go to the properties and run in Windows 11 format. 
let's see what happens but the fact that it installed you know i just want to know if it's going to install executable files and it did install so i'm still on point even though the game didn't run properly but let me see if i can fix the game let's see so um as you all know the game did not run properly but i think i can fix it so what i need to do i need to tell the game that i'm running an older version of windows so i'm gonna go to compatibility mode let's go to properties compatibility okay so i'm gonna be running this game in compatibility mode for which version um i think i'm fine with sp surface pack 3 because that's the most stable version of sp that i know today i can run in windows 7 and windows 8 you know but let's let's use service pack 3 window sp but there's a problem here i can't apply an okay probably because the bar is too long so what i can do i can change the orientation of the phone it's not changing okay the, it did change now so what i need to do i need to apply an okay so hopefully we should have a better game i'm not sure but let's hope you're gonna have a better game so i'm gonna connect my keyboard because for some reason i can't use a controller in them days i plan to use this xbox controller but in them days you know there's no really good controller for gaming you have to use a keyboard which i believe this game was designed for keyboard so i connect my keyboard and to my surprise it, the keyboard lights up you know this is a backlit keyboard and i was thinking maybe it's not gonna work because it needs extra power to light up and it did light up so this phone is doing a great job this video is just to demonstrate that can this phone run executable file you know dot ese that's windows program file dot ese can it run it so we are here to find out it did, it did install it but can it run it properly let's see i'm gonna be trying just one more one one game So this is better than before anyway so let's see if it's playable remember we are only testing we are not playing game it's all right The reason why I tested the 8 bit game is because I know it's not going to stress the processor and the GPU. And I believe the game should run smooth, which is doing at the moment. You know, I believe it should run smooth. And as you can see, it did run very smooth. So I'm not going to try a graphic intense game on this one. To be honest, I don't want to crash the phone. Remember, it's just a project. You know what I mean? So that's it guys, um, I hear that sound, oh, I don't like the noise. So that's it guys, you can see, it's still the 950XL running Windows 11, 
and um, I try executable application like ese.ese application on it and it works so I'm gonna close this now I haven't got a mouse so I'm just gonna say close off and that's it it's gone you can install Windows file on this phone and you can only install it you know so it works like a computer but is not 100% usable you know I'm not gonna advise you to use as to use this as your daily driver or to install Windows 11 ARM on your only phone you know it doesn't make any sense if that's the only phone you got don't try this but if you have Win Lumia 950 XL lying around the house which is probably what nothing in the market you know you can embark on this project and guys um that is it for today thank you guys for watching my video and i will see you when i make a new video bye and god bless